how did you feel being a part of a show that represent that you know helped oh, give yes, some representation to LGBTQ communities? Yes, absolutely, it was so wonderful to be a part of a show that was very song and dance and being able to express ourselves in that artistic way, but also some of the stories, for instance, Valencia, my character, when she became, when she came out as bisexual, there was no song and dance about it. And that's what I loved about it, pun intended. You know what I mean? Like there was no song and dance about it. And my, my Aunt Sandra, when she, when she came out to us when I, was in, when I was like in high school, she, there was no big song and dance about it. And all of us were like, okay, so when are you going, what are we having for dinner? And like, I loved that that story is also being told. And it, it's such a great reminder that what GLAD does for entertainment and for news is that what we put out there changes people's hearts. And I love that Crazy Ex-Girlfriend was a part of that. So when you found out that your character was going to be bisexual, I mean, obviously, I almost feel like you went back and thought about your aunt. But I want to know, how did you feel about your character and, you know, being and portraying, you know, somebody that's bisexual? I was just, I was so excited. I was so excited not to be able to, like, to play this role. I was excited for Valencia, period, that this woman, who is so strong and so honest, dug deeper into that. And she found a, a human being in front of her eyes that found her funny for the first time in her life. And it was so odd to Valencia that someone thought she was funny and like she was always not, she never loved humor in the beginnings, if you remember. And, and I love that that's what she fell in love with. And it just so happened to be a woman. And I love that Aline Brush McKenna and Rachel Bloom have always taken care of those stories. Do you think that playing your character Valencia has kind of, you know, transcended into your personal life where you feel a little closer to the LGBTQ community? I absolutely do. I feel like it's an honor to represent. I really do. And I I feel included. I absolutely do. And, and I, I think the stories and the community that I've always loved and been a part of in the entertainment industry, for sure, has been able to express themselves in a way that changes people's hearts when they see it on their televisions or when they see it on their phones.